From Indiana's news leader, Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock starts now. I think everyone's still kind of in shock about the whole thing. It's difficult to kind of wrap your mind around. A college campus and entire community stunned at the loss of one of their own. A student at Indiana University found murdered. Tonight, we are learning new details about how she was killed. Good evening, I'm Jenny Runovich. Now, autopsy results just released today reveal that 22-year-old Hannah Wilson died from several blows to her head. She was a senior at IU and a graduate of Hamilton Southeastern in Fishers. Wilson's body was found yesterday in Brown County, just hours after she was reported missing from campus. Now, police are trying to figure out her connection to 49-year-old Daniel Messel, the man arrested for her murder. We've discovered that that suspect was no stranger to violent crime. The Night Beats Emily Longnecker is live in Bloomington tonight with the details on the investigation. Emily? Jenny, the details from Wilson's autopsy are just absolutely chilling. The Brown County coroner says the IU senior had cuts on her hands, arms, and shoulders, possibly from fighting back against her attacker. And while the investigation continues, students here at IU gathered inside Assembly Hall to remember Wilson. Many of them didn't even know her, but news of her disappearance and word that police had discovered her body in the woods 20 miles from campus have devastated these students. Uh, the Greek life here is really strong. Um, it's not just Greek life. I think the school culture is really strong, or at least I take it that way. Um, yesterday when we learned of the news, everyone was just appalled. Um, it was shocking news, terrible news, the worst you could hear. Um, like we said, we didn't know her personally. I know I have friends that are, we're best friends with her. Um, she was an amazing girl. According to the coroner's report, Wilson was found between four to seven hours after she died. The coroner says she was fully clothed and there were no salt. But even with the arrest of Daniel Messel, that has done little to calm fears here because students just don't know what the connection is and investment. Investigators haven't said yet, so these students don't know how this could have happened to one of their own. Live at IU, Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Certainly difficult for anyone to understand. Emily, thanks for that live report. We do want to let you know that IU does have crisis counselors on campus this weekend to help students cope with the tragic news.